This event, The Art of Belonging, it's to celebrate people who have come here from other countries, whether as asylum seekers, skilled workers, refugees, and have been able to flourish with their art in a way that they may not have been able to do elsewhere. I was honoured to have a community member and she spoke to the children about three things and that was caring, compassion and community. And this evening is another example of exactly that. My name is Sadie and my poem is called Home and Belonging. Everyone belongs somewhere, but how do you know where? Is it from the food you eat, or the books you read, or the people you meet along the way? The real question is, how do you find where you belong? The idea of belonging, I think, is linked to well-being. And when you are a part of a community and a society that sees you, that hears you, that respects who you are and where you're from, it increases your sense of worth and your ability to be more productive and more connected. So the higher your sense of belonging, the higher your sense of worth, the higher your productivity. So if, as a community and as a society, if we can aspire to have citizens and members that feel that they're part of this country and can identify in a positive way with being part of Australia, we, we've achieved something positive. But that doesn't mean taking away the essence of who we are within our own cultural identity. It's about knowing that we can be two things at once. So I can bring my culture and my heritage to the table in the same way that I can be Australian and bring that to the table as well. Please welcome our fabulous artists. because I kept them all for myself. Putting yourself out there, it was something that I've never done that. That's why they gave me that courage. We have this right to travel anywhere we want because this land belongs to us. I want to do something to show everyone I didn't come to Australia to take anything. I want to give. I was very young, so it was more of a parent's decision. After a few months, I have so many beautiful friends that they used to support me and my art back in detention. It took a long time for me to adopt and slowly, but the art helped me to keep me engaged and focused. I was a little bit enlightened on how the audience were actually listening to me. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to tell to my dad? <laughs> <laughs> if Nobody knows your story, nobody will understand why you do the things the way you do it. Also, it encourages you to excel in your own ways because you will get some people approaching you, telling you that if you need any help, they can help you with it. And it kind of gives you a little bit of clarification that you don't have to hide yourself as a human. Just be out there and see what the world is holding for you. Something makes me so happy. You know, I'm here and you're listening to my story. I wanted to ask each of you, in language of your choice, say something to us about a phrase that has to do with belonging or home. What language? Persian. Okay. So it means here is the place to be. In Kurdish means don't leave me alone. I'm from here and I stay here. Azadi Juana, freedom is beautiful. Yadu Mure Yavrum Keli, it means we belong everywhere. Bug, Rogman, Enir, Atawapod, Nirkan, Eko, Chalala Twing, Bugrud Nyar, Apaidida. And what language? That's in Dinka. So I was like, for us together, like this is the love we have in our hearts. And that love, it gives us courage to continue on even more.
Belonging means being seen and being heard without judgment.